Hello everyone, my name is Christian Samuels and I want to just do a little bit of a tutorial for how to get flights on VATSIM and how to actually make it work. So, let's just say for example today we're doing um, Delta 1219 which is from Atlanta to LAX. Right now LA is getting a delay obviously. So, what we're going to do is, at least what I do, I go to SimBrief I already made it a SimBrief account. Uh, you want to make a SimBrief account, uh, log out, just make your own account. It's really simple to use. And it, I believe that it's the best thing to use for filing stuff on VATSIM. So let's go ahead and look at some of the stuff that we can do. Uh, you have your briefings. You have some of the flights that you have done before. Like I have these. These are some of the flights that I did use uh, in the past couple of days. I did save some of these flights as well. You have your fleet. Your fleet, let's just say I want to make a new airframe. You can use whichever type of airframe you want to. Let's say I'm using the 170. We'll proceed, and you can just customize your zero fuel weights, full flactors, um, weight categories, and all that stuff. You have the database, which of course you can look up information on airports. You can get airport weather. For example, let's see what it looks like at LAX. So this is the airport weather at LAX. Elevation is 39 meters or 128 feet. Um, it's 29 minutes old, which needs to be a little bit updated. Um, and it tells you the local time, which is 9:22 in LA, three hours behind. Since I live in Atlanta, you can also get uh, some segment weather charts for, let's see, for America. And you can see which way the jet stream is flowing and all that good stuff. Right now, it's showing that the jet stream is flowing this way to the east. Um, it shows you that you have um, isolated clouds at uh, certain flight levels. This is telling you that if you do flight level 450, the jet stream is going this way. And uh, 330. But usually the jet stream comes from out LA to Atlanta. Usually just like straight across most of the time and there's also jetways down here in um, South America you can just check those out if you feel like you need to I must just do one for like the Atlantic same thing it just shows that there's just the jet streams and the weather that you can look at of course there's a user guide that you will need to look at if you're new to it and you guys can go through and read that if you need to and but let's go back and go to the flight and let's go ahead and try to just show what I usually do in order to make uh, a flight onto VATSIM. So first of all, this AREC update don't really worry about it. It works with or without it. So I uh, go to KTL, which is the ICA code for Atlanta, and LEX, which is the ICA code for Los Angeles. I already have my 757 preset since I'm flying 757 200. Uh, according to the actual time, which is departs in about an hour. Um, the flight time is 4 hours and 39 minutes, so I would come here. I want to arrive on time. You could set it to 4 hours 35, but 39 is good. Usually I get there on time. And this is where all the stuff matters, the flight data. It gives you the altitude for your flight level. So flight level is uh, 34,000 feet or flight level 340. It changes after 18,000 feet. This one it switches over to flight levels. And uh, if you want to get a little bit better with the passengers, cargo, and zero fuel weight, um, I don't know how you're really going to get zero fuel weight or cargo. But passengers wise, you could come here to the airline inside, look at the average fare, what kind of, uh, what they're going to be eating when they're on the plane. Um, I use this most of the time 191 passengers. And the cargo weight is these amounts right here <laughs> so if you want to you can like divide those how you need to so what I'll just come here and do is say 191 and that'll be good so next what I have to do I I have the OFP layout for Delta Airlines you can choose between American Air Canada Air France British Airways um, Lufthansa Etihad EasyJets and etc and I have mines and pounds. Those for you in the Europeans, you might want to use the um, kilos. 
I have the fuel. You can do the reserve fuel. How much fuel you want to reserve? If you need to do a, a go to a different airport, I usually say about 30 minutes. Uh, you want to have all these, set, especially the E-tops when you're going over the ocean. And the flight maps, you of course want them detailed to its absolute finest. Now, Simbrief will give you some routes that you can use for the Eric updates. Um, it just shows you some of the routes that you can do. I give you some that with the SID and the stars. The SID is the um, standard international departure, SID. And a star is the standard standard terminal arrival route which is onto the runway so for example the uh, SID for this is pounce to pounce so you'll be going pounce this is going off of 27 right so you'll probably go from here come around from pounce ATL pounce again it will direct you over here then you'll fly your route and uh, after you fly your route you would go onto the arrival and this is pretty cool because it tells you the waypoints and stuff like that but what I usually do is come here to this route which is the real world route that they're using for this flight today and I will just copy and paste that in it might say some SIDs not or the fix for these aren't allowed uh, it might show you this that's just because you haven't updated your Eric which really doesn't matter um, you have your root distance and the stars. So, and then it just shows you your correct route all the way over there. Which, if you go back and look, is sort of the directly same route as that. You could disable the winds aloft. Oh, you could also come down here and get the E-tops, but you don't have any E-tops. You get the airways, the FIRs, and you can sp especially the segment weather, which is what we just looked at a little bit ago, and just some of the winds. You could do the ETOP scenario. Like I said, if you want to, you know, do a go to a different airport, you could also just come here, say, "Oh, I'll calculate, see if you even need an ETOP scenario." It's not required because you're not going over the ocean. I will show an example for that here in a second. For going over the what over the water routes, I will show you an example. Okay, so this is what our flight looks like at first. It looks might look complicated. And uh, so I'll come here, generate my OFP, which is my operating flight plan. It's going to uh, detect stuff, build the maps, and then it will redirect you straight to this place, which is the, dis the dispatch output. So the, the dispatch output, excuse me, uh, it tells you what airline and stuff like that. You could have done that yourself. I usually do, do, don't do that. It says you should expect the air time of 4 hours and 16 minutes. Usually, you want to take 40,625 pounds of fuel if you can. Um, I chose auto for zero fuel weight since I didn't have zero fuel weight. It shows you your route, plus your Eric cycle in your format you want it in. Now, you might get this page of paperwork, which is pretty much everything you need to know for this flight. Um, tells you what airports you could go to uh, the airport the other airports especially at, at what time you decide to depart um, you have all of this stuff you have your uh, winds the UADs um, the segment weather so I just showed you guys the, where the jet stream so you're going against the jet stream which means it's going to be a longer flight there and your vertical profile if you needed to use it but for me the most important part about this is this line right here this is what's important it tells you your cost index the cost index is what an airline uses to get there the higher the cost index the faster you will get there but the more fuel you will burn the lower the cost index um, the longer it's going to take to get there however uh, it does save fuel more efficiently so it tells you your winds at cruise uh, your ISA which is positive 7 P7 it might say N7 sometimes might might not it tells you what time you should expect to arrive Zulu time is 416 if you depart at the at the same time they want you to depart at at 1655 so how do I uh, file this to VATSIM 
simple. You hit Prefile Flight. You see VatSim.net Prefile. And it takes you to the VatSim certification page. So it shows you what time it is. Um, you can read through this if you need to, if you use VatSim. Let's just say, since the call sign is Delta 1219, we'll just say Delta 1219. It asks if you want to use IFR, VFR, your airspeed. It already calculates that. The proposed time you plan to leave gives you your flight route, um, destination, how long it should take. If you can receive fuel voice, receive, or text, you can delete that if you don't want it, but it really doesn't matter. You've got some password and ID and your fuel on board so it that 40,000 pounds of fuel you should want to take that and that's about five hours of fuel and then after you do that you just want to hit file flight plan and then after you file it I don't want to hit it because if I do hit it then it's going to go to their server and if I don't do it I'm gonna get in trouble so after you file the flight plan don't worry about that that's just the V pilot I have you go to whatever you are using for your um, simulators flight plan how to connect you go to flight plan and you should just hit fetch from the server it will, got, it will go directly to the server and it will just be there so uh, that's how you usually get your flights uh, download the FMC I usually only do this with my FMC type planes but um, you would just do all this stuff you would just download it open it whatever you need to do now I will go back real quick and I will just show you guys I'm um, just something simple um the etops it's just yes do why is this why the LAX I know Delta has a flight out there yep, Delta 40 heavy Let's just show you guys how this works so we'll just do from Sydney to LAX we'll say we're flying a triple seven of course uh, 13 hours 24 minutes we'll say 20 minutes that's a little bit shorter and they'll give you some of the stuff that you could use and then some so this is when the ETOP scenario comes in if if the problem happens and you need to go somewhere else and you need to go to a different airport this is where it all comes in pretty much it says if you're going from if you're if you hit um, YBBN by an hour 18 minutes if you hit that then you want to either depart back to Brisbane or Sydney if you continue to carry on into the you continue to carry on t uh, to the route and nothing wrong happens um, then you will likely want to depart to Fiji if a problem goes on while you're in this area and so on and then forth if something goes wrong here at etops one at Baxel you can just go straight to NSFA it's the etops suitable airport it's international airport after etops two um, it will tell you you probably want to go to Hawaii that's a suitable option uh, or you want to go to Hilo International and after etops three again if you need to go to another airport you probably want to go back to this airport then after after this area this is a little bit like a no man's area right here if anything happens between this you'll have to either go continue your witcher route or turn around which would most likely be to turn around if you're closer to etops three and of course if once you get to about here which is knsi that's the exit point that's when there's no longer need for etops anymore you will pretty much go straight in if you have a problem right here you can go straight in here or San Diego wherever you need to go and this is your alternate airport if you need to do an alternate and that's what it looks like right there it, you enter at YBBN and you exit at KNSI and these are your suitable airports you can go to if you need to go out that uh, so it's a 180 minute scenario so that means that with every single entry point or tops one two three all these are 180 minute difference so from here to here it's 180 minutes here to here it's 180 here to here is 180 so if you need to you can direct anywhere you need to over the ocean that etops only applies to over the ocean 
Um, I hope that answered you guys' video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I like I do like doing tutorial flights, but. Uh,